This animation technique is so powerful that it completely changed how I used to animate. The animation you are seeing right now is done without any keyframes, no plugins, no scripts, no expressions, nothing. This is just simple text layer. You can use it to animate any kind of object you want. And the best thing is it's so easy to create that even a beginner can do it. So let's learn how to make this. So the animation technique that I'm talking about is called smear animation or smearing animation. Now this is not something that is new. It has been used for a very long time, even before animation softwares were a thing. This is mainly used in frame by frame animation, but you can use it literally anywhere you want to create some amazing animations. So first let's understand what smearing is. Let's say we have a subject and in our case we have this boy, which is looking towards the left side. Let's call this pose A. Now we want him to look to the other side. So this is our pose P. Now to make this happen, we can create an intermediate frame, which looks something like this. Now this is called a smear frame. This frame will help us to animate from pose A to pose B smoothly and quickly. Now at first it looks very weird because you can see we have four eyes and a very elongated face. But when we put it in between our pose A and pose B, it will make the transition look very smooth and very quick. Now this is something that is used a lot in TV cartoons, but since the motion is so fast that we are not able to see it. But if you go to Google, and just search for smear frames then you can see there are a lot of cartoons that are using it and you can see all of these frames look very weird but once we add them in between our key poses then they make the animation look a lot smoother let me give you one more practical example and after that we will see how to create that text animation using this technique all right so i'm in after effects and let's understand this more by a practical example so here i have this shape layer which is just a simple circle and it is right now at this point and what if i want to animate it from here to here using our smear animation technique. So let's select this and if I press Ctrl D, I can just simply move this second copy over here. So this is our pose A and this is our pose B. I'm going to make them exactly one frame long like this and I can move it so that we have this pose A and pose B. Now if I increase this length and let's quickly preview it. So if I press play, you can see that it is not looking like this ball is moving. Instead, it is just jumping to this final location. To improve it, what we can do is we can just add one more frame in between them. So I can just duplicate this and let's add this one. So this will be our smear frame. And what we can do is to create this, we can just move it in between these two frames to give it a center. Now what we can do is we can elongate it so that it gives us this illusion of movement and we can also make it less high so that it looks like that our ball is moving from this to this using this smear motion now if i press play you can see instantly our animation is looking a lot nicer as compared to earlier now we are having now it is giving the sense of movement so our ball is over here and then it is moving to this point earlier it was just jumping between these two points but now we have added some motion to it now if we want to make it a little smoother then what we can do is we can have more poses in between so i can press ctrl d and let's place one more and i'm going to make it a little bit less and let's widen it up and i'm going to make it more towards this ball so that we have this initial pose and i can do the same thing towards the ending pose and we can move it so that it forms this ball now if i press play you can see that we have the same animation but it's a lot smoother as compared to earlier so in this way you can create some shapes that look weird on their own but once you combine them in an animation they make it look a lot smoother like this now let me show you how i use this technique to create the text animation that you saw in the beginning so here is the animation that I made using this technique. And now if I go to intermediate frames, you can see we have these very weird looking characters, but once we add them in our animation, you can see that it looks the motion a lot smoother. So let's see how to make this. So for that, let's delete this and I'm going to select the text tool and simply type our text. I'm going to type hey, let's align it in the center. Let's make it sync point in the center as well and i'm going to make it a little bit smaller now we want to create individual characters so for that i'm going to select this press ctrl d and let's type h and let's duplicate it and this one we can type e and let's duplicate it against this one we can type y now we can select the bottom one and just for the reference we can change its color now we can align all of these characters individually to their respective letters so we have h e let's align the y and e now here we have our text 
now we are ready to animate it so for now we can get rid of this paste text let's delete this now there is one more thing you might have noticed that my timeline looks a little bit different because it is showing me frames and yours will be showing the seconds or the time and you can easily change that by holding down the control key and you can click over here now you can see that it is showing me time and if i again click you can see that it will show me the frame number that i am on so for this animation i prefer to use the frame and now let's zoom in and we are going to quickly let's move these layers away because we don't want to see them for now let's focus on the edge only so first we want this to be like just one frame long so we can select this let's press ctrl shift t to split this and delete this this is the first frame now what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this let's make the second frame which is going to be our smear frame so i want this edge to like move to this location then bounce to this then over here then come back so for that for the second pose what i'm going to do is i'm going to just move it in between these two poses and let's rotate it like that now i can just simply elongate it so that it looks like this very elongated or stressed version of this edge now i can go to this point and let's press ctrl d and i can create one more copy and this time i'm going to like make it stretched down so that it looks like this is flowing and it is hitting the wall now you have to take care of the position of this so let's make it like that so that the edge moves nicely perfect now and the second frame i can again duplicate this and this one this time we can move it to this location and let's elongate it let's make it a little bit smaller let's again duplicate this and this time we can just stretch it like this let's place it over here so you can see that it's that easy to animate it now again duplicate this let's move it in between these two frames so like here let's elongate it you don't have to be very precise just do it randomly and let's make it shrink it down and let's place it over here now i'm going to create one more copy and let's duplicate this because we want this to go back to the final location so i'm going to place it over here let's select this and i'm going to like rotate it and let's elongate it like that and at last we will have our final frame like this so if i extend it now if i press play you can see that our edge is moving nicely now you will have to play with the angle let's fix the angle so let's make it a little bit like this now it looks a lot better so we have done our first character and in the same way you can do all the others as well and let's do the e so for now we can hide these so we can only focus on e again the technique is same so let's make a single frame and now duplicate it now this time we can move it to the other side so let's just place it at this location let's press r let's rotate it and let's elongate it again we will have to check whether we are going correct so this looks good now let's duplicate this let's place this one so now i'm done with all the characters and if i press play you can see we have this very interesting and amazing animation which we did without any keyframes no plugins no script just simply this text layer and some weird frames in between them we can offset them as well to give it a little bit of variation uh, let's move it as well so here we have this final animation which looks very impressive and all we have to do is just create some weird frames in between them and this is how you can create these animation now this technique is not limited to just this example you can pretty much use it in whatever animation you want you can have like two shapes and you can morph between them by simply creating a smear frame in between them and in the same way you can use it wherever you want so i hope you have learned this technique and you will use in your animations and if you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so you can check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one